everyone. Hello everybody. I forgot all the sing and float fun that we had. I wanted to read the book to you about sink or float. And it's by Lisa Trumboer. So this is a real book, a fact book. So it's got photographs in it. Remember, we talked about leaves. Some things can float on water. Big books can be really hard to turn. A boat can float. Unless you have a hole in the boat like Moana. Boats can float. A beach ball can float. Even ducks can float. And I know if ducks can float, those Canada geese that we've been seeing come in this afternoon on the pond, they can float too. Hold on, pages are stuck. You know why? Because it got wet when we were doing our sink or float activity. I didn't move the book far enough away. Some things can sink. Hippos are heavy enough to sink in water and walk along the bottom. Rocks are heavy also. They sink to the bottom. You remember? All five of our rocks sunk to the bottom. When objects sink or float, they push water away. Have you ever jumped into a pool? Your body pushed water away as it splashed into the pool. Some things always float because they're lighter than water, like ice or wood. Even giant icebergs float. And look at these giant logs. They float too. And some things might sink or float. A ship made of steel will float. The big cargo ship. But an anchor made of steel will sink. It's called buoyancy. That's a big word. Can you say buoyancy? That's a kindergarten word. You'll learn more about that when you get to kindergarten. One person on a raft will float. But three people on a raft might sink. Which things are floating? Which things have sunk? Let's look at these pictures. This anchor is very rusty, just like my name. No pun intended. And look, it's underwater. So it sank. But this boat is on top of the water, so it's floating. This little girl is on a big yellow floater in a pool. She's floating. And these ducks are on top of the water, so they're floating. And look at those rocks. Are they floating or sinking? That's right, they sink. Are these two boys floating or sinking? Let's look. Part of their bodies underwater and part of their bodies above water. So they're actually floating because they're not on the bottom. Just like the bottles of water and the soda can. Yep, and the giant zucchini. It kind of did both. And that was our book sink or float. Now have fun doing your activities at home and don't forget to share those pictures. See y'all later. Bye!